Gan Shalom Akyam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. But the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Teacher Rubo, and Shalom to the Sincer Akyam, spreading his truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, as you can see on, this, on, the, on the top of the screen, it says, Go ye into the highways and byways. So, you know, there might be some people out there that you know want to be a keyboard prophets or um, basically media prophets, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and, 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 and whatnot. But uh, you know, that's not the way to go, man. You know, it's not, it's, it's not according to that way that we, you know, should, uh, you know, should proclaim that uh, that beautiful gospel, man, that we have received. Spirit and power of Yahweh you know, There's even a uh, decree going out there, um, you know, made by El Apostle Tahar, that we uh, you know, we should not, you know, spread the gospel on Instagram, Facebook, etc. You know, we should uh, you know, put on YouTube, YouTube, or uh, BitChute, and you know, those media platforms out there, you know. Weekends, you know, we should be in the highways and byways, man. Because there might be people out there that you know, believe in Yahweh Shem Yahushai, but you know, they wanna, you know, uh, put upon themselves, you know, the the role of a prophet, but they don't wanna stand in the highways and byways, man. They wanna, you know, just remain behind the PC, and they wanna, you know, talk to people directly, you know, in their houses or you know, their close relatives and things like that, but that's not how the scriptures talk about how we should approach, you know, the the, the, the office of a uh, prophet, uh, you know, because it's even commanded in the scriptures, man, that you know, we should go into the highways and byways to bid the people of the Heavenly Father to their marriage, man. And there's a scripture that's on the, on the bottom of the screen, like uh, when I scroll down, so... Um, I want to uh, keep that for uh, for the end. But throughout the, throughout the scriptures, man, it all it, it, it all gives you know subtle signs and not so subtle signs that you know, we should be standing in the highways and byways, man. We should we should uh, you know, proclaim the words of the heavenly Father, you know, out there in the streets, man, where people are able to see us, where we can be made a laughing stock or a gazing stock. But we can be esteemed as, you know, doing something foolish, you know, out there for the world to see. But even the scripture said that, you know, it, uh, it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching, man. You know, that, 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 that's how the Most High wants it to see. So this is um, the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 1. <coughs> and this is the first scripture that I want to pull out to show you that... Uh, Prophets with the wisdom and understanding of the Heavenly Father can be found in the streets, man. So this is uh, so like this is Song of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. By night on my bed I sought him, whom my soul loved. I sought him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets, and in the broad ways I will seek him, whom my soul loved. I sought him, but I found him not. So. Here in Songs of Solomon, it says that you know King Solomon was, you know, seeking you know the man that had the understanding of the Heavenly Father, man. But at first he could not find it, so he went to the streets, and at first he was not able to find that prophet with that understanding. Verse three: The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, "Saw ye him whom I saw loved?" So at a certain moment of time, you know. Um, came across this, this watchman, this guard that's basically, you know, looking out for the safety of the city. Verse 4. It was but a little that I passed from him, passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loved. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. So, this shows you that the wisdom and understanding of the Heavenly Father, you know, could be found on the streets, man. You know, and eventually, 
you know, as it says in the, in the scripture Song of Solomon, it was found, and that knowledge with understanding, you know, was brought home, it was brought, you know, uh, um, yeah, well, basically brought home. You see, and this is a precept to back it up that um, you know, the Most High sent forth, you know, the prophets in the streets. This is Proverbs chapter nine, verse one. Wisdom hath built in her house, she hath hewn out her seven pillars, she hath killed her beasts, she hath mingled her wine, she hath also furnished her tables. So, what does this go into? You know, this goes into, in, in modern day terms, we say food for talk. You know, so, scriptures refer to foods or certain drinks uh, as wisdom. And why is that? Because, like I mentioned already, food for talk doesn't necessarily mean that you literally eat something, it means that you have something to digest in your mind. You know, something to think about, to ponder upon, and you know, to eventually apply as well. You see? So this is this is something that wisdom does, man. You know, she has she, she had uh, uh, a out her table, man. She had prepared a feast for us, man, which, you know, those are, you know, eventually the scriptures, man. You know, the table upon which we feast and which we, you know, uh, um, try to consume the knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father. But it says in verse 3, it says, She had sent forth her maidens, which those maidens are the prophets of the Heavenly Father. She had cried upon the highest places of the city. So, those maidens can be found in the city. You know, in the, in the streets. Not inside a house or inside a building. You know, such as a, uh, a church or uh, a rent place somewhere in an apartment building or whatever. Yeah, the, the servants of the servants of prophets of the heavenly father, the Al Bashim Yashai, they can be found in a, found on the highways and byways, man. You know, and that's what we're uh, what, what we're suppo supposed to do at least one time a week, man. And over here in, uh, in in Holland, you know, we do that on a Saturday. So right now I'm on my way to the camp, making this video. You know, and you know this video was one of the things that we also not necessarily this video, but. You know, we, uh, we are uh, ordered, you know, by Elder Apostle the Haran Down that we should be making at least three videos a week. You know, we should be feeding the sheep of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, you know, so that, you know, the sheep don't starve. But this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Hey, it's it's, it's, it's simple as day, man. Wisdom cry without wisdom can be found outside. She uttered her voice in the streets. By whom? By the servants, the prophets, man, the maidens that were sent forth by the heavenly Father. <coughs> she cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying. That's where wisdom can be found, man. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity, and the scorn is delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, so how how long are the people of this world and you know, with the people I mean Israelites, because that's whom the Bible is you know directed towards. It's made by Israelites for Israelites. And if you in this day and age still don't know who they are, they're the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, and those scared among the heathen nations looking like the heathen nations, but his lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to their father, Sigmund. So you might have those out there that look like Chinese people, Japanese people, Arabs, so-called white people, um, you know, look like you know, actual Africans and things like that. But as long as the lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they are Israelites, man, to whom pertained the adoption, you know, and the salvation, and the promises, man. So how long do those people, you know, that are out there, you know, uh, enjoy the simplicities of this life, man, the foolish things, the things that don't matter, you know? Because what, what is ahead of us, man, it's not a, it's not a cakewalk, man. It's going to be hard times, you know. And the most high is molding those people, you know, that you know come back, you know, to the heavenly Father. He's molding them, you know, to be prepared. You know, to, 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 to endure those times, man. You know, and the warnings and the exhortations can all be found in the scriptures, man. You know, 
or what we can expect in a certain way. Of course, when it comes, it's going to be worse than what we read about because we can only imagine about it. You know, it's called the time of Jacob's trouble, which you know shall be like no other time upon the earth. There's nothing that you can compare it with. It's going to be a specific you know period of time, you know, which is going to be uh, one and only, man, one of a kind. But that digress a little bit. So this is John chapter 20 verse 21. Then said Yahweh Shai to them again, Peace be unto you, as my father had sent me, even so sent I you. So, we understand that Yahweh Shai, he received a complete understanding of the scriptures. Man. If you go to Revelation, the fifth chapter, you know, that's talking about him, how he was able to open the seven seals, you know, that were uh, that were sealed, man. Meaning, he was open, he was, he was able to receive that full knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And just like he was sent by the Heavenly Father to preach those words, to preach that understanding, so are we sent, man. But it does not mean that, you know, we are sent, you know, just to go into the houses here and there. No, no, no. We are sent to stand upon the streets, man. Yahweh Shai himself was also standing in the, uh, in the streets, man. He was standing in the synagogues, he was standing in the streets, you know. He was proclaiming the words of the Heavenly Father, man. We should be following in those same footsteps, man. You see. So I'm not saying that no, you, you're not you're not able to you know go to someone's house and break bread with him concerning the scriptures. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you you know uh, you feel that you you know should proclaim the words of the heavenly Father, you, know, you cannot you know go into uh, into buildings only, man. We are commanded to go into the highways and byways, man. Preach upon the streets. You see, so there, there's a, there's an understanding that needs to be put forth. Because I'm not saying that you cannot go to people's houses, that you cannot, you know, teach in certain locations. But what we should be doing, at least, is going to the highways and byways, make our three videos a week, at least, and everything else is extra, man, for us in this day and age. You know, so if you have acquaintances, friends. That you break bread with, that you, you know, uh, lay down the scriptures with, a cool cat, man. But are you doing the things that are uh, necessary as well? That are that we are ordered to do by the spirit of power of Yahweh Shem You see. And even Apostle Paul, you know, he said, you know, follow me, for I am a follower of Yahweh Shai. You know, Apostle Paul was also standing on the uh, on the streets, man. That's a little bit further down the road. Let me go there. This is uh, Acts chapter 13, starting at verse 42. <clears throat> um, because it says, uh, at first it talks about that they were in the synagogue, but this is verse 44. This is Acts chapter 13, verse 42. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now the congregation was broken up. Many of the Jews and proselytes, uh, Slakia, and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of the Most High. Verse 44 is the point. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of the Most High. You see? So do you do you really think that the whole city you know, will be able to fit into one building? Do you really think that that will be possible? You know? I don't think so, man. If, 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 for instance, we would gather the whole city of Rotterdam or you know, Schiedam, they, they won't be able to fit into one place, man. They, they will be able, you know, to fit into the, uh, um, how do you say that? Like a large piece of uh, a, a pasture, man. Put them there and then, you know, get the microphone and things like that and then, you know. But you cannot fit the whole city, you know, into, a, into, into the synagogue, man. Into... In, in, into you know, that which, you know, uh, there which the Jews preached uh, and read the scriptures, man, back in those days. So, Apostle Paul, he also went in, in, into the highways and byways, man. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but then I shall see thy teachers, man. So, you really think that we will be, you know, um, preaching the word of the Heavenly Father in a, uh, 
in a uh, gym, basically in a gym. You can first in the gym and that you can you can rent. In Holland, we can you can rent gyms and things like that. You know, just uh, like a, like the baseball court you have in high school, right? You know, those kind of things you're able to rent here. You know, for evenings and weekends and things like that. So, do you think that if we would, you know, stand there preaching the word of Heavenly Father, do you think people will be able to see us? Not really. You know, uh, bystanders might, you know, hear it once the windows are open and come inside, but then they need to be looking for us, like, hey, what's going on here? But if we are just on the streets, standing in the highways and byways, and we are proclaiming the words of the Heavenly Father, <clears throat> then by, by them not even looking for us, they're able to see us. They're able to term like, oh, they're, they're, they're preaching the word of the Heavenly Father, or, you know, as some people might think that, you know, we are, we're a, uh, Muslim people, so they say uh, a lot of the time they say Salam Alaikum, which is basically a shalom. You know, then then we be looking at them like we ain't we, we ain't uh, Muslims, man. Most most times we ignore them, but uh, you know the people are able to see us. We're not in, we're not pushing corners anymore, so they're able to see us, man. You know, they're able to see us. <clears throat> this is match chapter 22, verse nine. Go ye therefore into the highways and byways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That, that's why we're standing on the highways and byways, because it was commanded unto us, and we're trying to bid the people of the Heavenly Father back, you know, to the marriage, man. You know, back to the Heavenly Father, and, you know, we await the marriage for, you know, when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. Because then the bride shall be joined unto the, uh, unto his, unto his husband, man. And our husband is Yahweh Shai. You see, we are, we are waiting at marriage, man. but you know we are bidding those people back, you know, to the, un to, the to, to the union to establish that. Man. You see, and how we're doing that is we're staying in the highways and byways. We're making three videos a week, at least, and you know whatever else we're doing on the sides, you know, to um, to try to bring the people back to the Heavenly Father, that's extra, man. That's extra, you see. So for those keyboard warriors out there, you know, for those that want to be prophets, you know, you should be standing on the highways and byways, man. You know? That's where you should be standing, man. I, I know this, uh, this guy from GOCC, and uh, I believe that he is uh, he's a Jake, but he looks like Chinese, Chinese like uh, Indonesian type of guy but uh, he, he's very zealous man towards you know the boss that you can have with the father but because he's, he's in GOCC he doesn't necessarily accept himself you know to be an Israelite man. because they don't really preach over there that the uh, that the Israelites also look like the Indonesians, but they don't really uh, proclaim that openly out there, man. You know? So, the point that I was trying to bring out with the GSC is, is that um, they're sitting inside, man. They're sitting inside, trying to reach the people through, 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 through YouTube only. You know, I, I've shown this guy many times that, you know, they should be standing in the highways and byways. And, you know, once in a while they go outside. I've seen a one camp video of them a couple hours. But that's not the way to go, man. You know? It even says uh, that we should present our bodies as living sacrifices. Romans chapter 12. So we're going, you know, in the cold, in the heat of the day, when it's raining, when it's snowing, we're standing. You know, on the streets, man. Amsterdam, Balmer Station, man. That's where we can be found. You know? See what I mean? So, yeah. You know, we are to say, you know, this, uh, this video was edifying. But with that, I want to give all praise. 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 I
of honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone, teacher of the world, and Shalom to the sister, I can't Spanish truth and sincerity.